Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable pom-pom bear. He's incredibly soft and cute, and surprisingly easy to make. You don't even need any stuffing or crocheting skills. The materials that I use to make my bear include a ball of yarn, scissors, a small hairbrush, a little black pom-pom for his nose, and some plastic eyes, but felt or beads would also work well for the eyes. I took a strand of yarn and looped it around four of my fingers. I'm looping it a hundred times. After I finished looping, I took both ends of the yarn and I tied it around the ball and made a tight knot. I repeated the process again and made another bundle of yarn of the same size. Then I tied both of the bundles together. I ended up making a total of four bundles of the same size and tying them together. This is to create the head of the bear. Then, I cut apart the loops of the yarn. After all the loops were cut open, you could see that the pom-pom ball shape is starting to form. Then I took a small hairbrush and started brushing all of the little ends. This made the ball nice and fluffy. Then I went on to create the muzzle or the nose portion of the bear. I created a slightly smaller pom-pom than the head. I repeated looping, tying, cutting, and brushing to create a fluffy pom-pom. I also used scissors to trim my pom-poms to make sure that they were nice and round and to the exact shape that I wanted. Next, I created the ears by making two small bundles of the yarn. And here we can see the different sizes that were created. The largest pom-pom for the head, the middle one for the muzzle, and the two tinier ones for the ears. And here I was just checking on the placement of the nose and the eyes. Time to attach. I used hot glue to glue the pieces together. I'm sure sewing them together would work well also, but glue guns are usually quick and easy for me, so I went this route.
I added extra dabs of glue to make sure that the pom-pom pieces were all secure. And here he is all done! So fluffy and cute! Can you believe that there wasn't any stuffing required or even crochet skills? He also has an adorable bunny friend. I'll be posting another video where I show you how I created his little hopping friend. I hope you'll try creating a teddy of your own at home. Thanks so much for watching! Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any new fun ideas. Bye!